Hello everyone and welcome back to the Alana Flavor Show. Today we're going to be making Salisbury steak and cute potatoes. Let's get started. I have it printed out for this episode. So, you're going to need a large mixing bowl, a large skillet, one pound of ground beef, one packet of whipped in onion mix, a fourth cup of breadcrumbs, one large egg, half a teaspoon of dried parsley, which I don't like, but my mom said, oh, Mari, go use it. I'm like, fine. One half a teaspoon of dried onion powder, a fourth teaspoon of fine sea salt, one teaspoon of oil, two tablespoons of butter, two tablespoons of flour, one and a half cups of beef stock, one teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce, or W sauce as I call it, half a teaspoon of dried onion powder, two tablespoons of coconut oil, water, garlic, salt, pepper, butter, potatoes, and then that's it. So first, make the beef patties. Okay, place all ingredients for the steak except for the oil in a large bowl and mix well. Okay. Well, I have my nif the bowl out. My nif the bowl. And got my meat. My meat, 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 meat. All ingredients except for the oil go in the meat. So, four cups of Got my measuring, measuring, measuring cups. Wait. Okay, so make sure we're not tired. Cause my mom's prone to getting expired by me. Just put it in the bowl. And then one large egg. Here's my one large egg that was laid from a chicken or a hen wing. Oh, oh my god. I don't want to get your shell. Okay. It cracked almost perfectly. Um, Got this yolk stuff on the hands. Okay, um, oh yeah, the Lipton onion packet. Lipton, Lipton, Lipton. Sounds weird when you say it all the time. Lipton, 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 Lipton. Sounds like Lipton. Like doing that, 
I don't feel like doing that measurement again, so I'll just simply Just for the viewers out there, I just want you guys to know, food is less of a, wait, let me, what's wrong with the Food is less of cooking and more of making art. My food is my art. So just go with the flow and throw away the recipe, but if you have one. But sometimes it's important to completely ignore what I just said. Um, okay. Now to mix it up. That we got my large spoon. Then just gonna mix it up. My mom said do it by hand, but that's nasty and above that. Because I don't know where these ingredients have been. Mm. Mix it up, good, good. I don't like how this smells. Ugh. This looks disgusting. It looks like dried brain that's been dipped in scum. And had alligator babies for lunch. Okay, green, I mixed it. Now what? Um, now I'm gonna shake the patties. But make sure they're thin and put a hole in the middle so they keep their shape while they cook. But here's what it looks like. Mm. Looks like for a while, but um, you know, whatever. Okay, let me shake my patties. Look at this gargle in my hands. Feels like I'm touching grandma's skin after it's been wet and moist. Mmm. Smells good. Mmm. Mmm. Okay, got one patty. Good if I did, and it looks and smells nasty, so far. Don't even know if I want to eat this, but, you know. Oh my gosh. Got me two patties done. Now I made my patties. Now, heat the oil in the large skillet. Wait, let me see how much oil I need. Uh, first got to wash my hands so they're looking nasty. Oh, and just remember, always wash your hands while you're cooking because to some people it's unhygienic to pick up your dog or scratch it when it ditches and then start cooking again. <laughs> oh, my humor is so funny. Okay. My hands are clean. Okay. Wait, how much real? Um, okay, one teaspoon. One teaspoon of oil. Then you just again, okay, I'm just gonna pour. No, actually, don't wanna mess up. One teaspoon. Okay, that's a tablespoon. And it did say a teaspoon, right? Yep. Say it, teaspoon. Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. That was almost too much. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm just gonna turn the stove to that board. That's nice, come here, cook your meat on. Your meat on. Um, okay, now cook, heat the oil in a large skillet and brown the steaks from both sides. Three to five minutes each and then move to a plate. Start putting in my hands. Um, 
Okay. I need to make more patties in these offices because my mom's always talking about how I waste food. So what was cooking, I'll make the other patties. But just so you don't have to see me make the other patties and be totally grossed out, I'll just wait till the right patties start cooking and we can start the potatoes. Okay guys, so now I'm gonna make the green bead for the meat. God, I'm afraid I'm gonna miss this up. Two tablespoons of butter. Sounds easy. Two tablespoons. Okay. As you can see, one more minute for the potatoes. Here's the butter. For the gravy, put the skillet on the stove on two. Because you, you don't want to chill in the table with this stuff. Okay. Last thing to melt. Okay, it's already melting. Let's see. Okay, it's melting now. Um, um, okay, two tablespoons flour. The meat smells not the worst you've ever had. Um, okay. That is almost done. That's fine. Okay. There it is. Now it's time for the beef style. One and a half cup, and I'll just put in the whole thing. Okay, you can really even see that. Okay, um, I think that's enough. Um, <laughs> um, okay, I put in the Worcestershire sauce and the onion sauce. Where is this W sauce? So it's one teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce. Oh my god, oh thing, you dumb thing, I don't have a okay. thing. Oh, okay, yeah, potatoes. Got it. Little, uh, W sauce. It's from gravy. I'll bring you back on the food so you don't want to see this train wreck. Okay guys, here is the finished product. The potatoes are fine, but the meat is a uh, no for me. Meat's just disgusting. Anyways, thank you so much for watching this interesting 
episode of the Amari Favor Show. Make sure to follow me on all my other platforms, which are Amari Favors. Don't forget, my show comes on every Sunday at 8 p.m. Oh, and also, I'm extending the further seasons from now on to 12 episodes instead of 10 because I love this show, and even though it started off as me just making food for you guys to make these recipes for dinner, now it became something fun I do every Sunday. Anyways, that's about it. Oh, and also, the reason I don't like the meat is because there's onion on it and I can't stand onion. So yeah, just don't eat the meat, it's nasty. You might like it, but I don't. Anyways, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.